Falcon. The defending champs back on track and get their first win of the season. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Turkish Airlines Euro League Watch Along. I'm your host, Anthony Goods, West, representing Swiss Cultures, and you're here where you get to watch the Turkish Airlines Euro League game of the week. We got a very, very special guest. If you've been following Euro League at all, or if you've just been watching basketball in general, man, you've seen this man get buckets on every team, mm -hmm. every planet, every country. Please give a nice, warm Euro League welcome for my man, Sonny Williams. Sonny, what's good, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? What's up, man? Thank you for having me. Man, of course, man. I mean, who better to have on a night like this? We got a nice Euro League game with Panathinaikos and uh, Anadolu Ephes. Man, what a uh, what better what better place is there to be, man? Yeah, yeah, we got a good one tonight, man. Real historic programs, man. I actually had a uh, a privilege to be a part of these teams, so it's good to you know uh, come out here and watch them and uh, watch them compete tonight. It's supposed to be a good one. Yeah, no, nah, I know you. I know you real. You real familiar with uh with both of these teams, man. What, what, what what's your first yeah. memory that come to mind when you see that gym? Oh uh, man, the fans. Uh, just uh going into the arena and just hearing the fans from the locker room. Just leaving the bus and going into the locker room, just hearing those fans get out there real early and just screaming at the top of their lungs. Um, it just kind of gave me energy, you know, uh, of just being ready to play. And I've always, you know, loved that arena. I've always loved that city. I've always loved the people, you know, Panthinagos, and uh, man, uh, uh, I just have a number of great memories of going in those. I had some of my best game in that arena, so I've always enjoyed the fans, okay. for sure. <laughs> nah, that's dope, man. And everybody back home, please, if you uh, want to tune in to this EuroLeague game or any of the EuroLeague games to come, go to EuroLeague.tv. We got a promo code, Watch Along 10 that's Watch Along in the number 10. You can get 10% off. That's all of y'all, except for those of y'all that live in Italy, in Spain. But in the meantime, y'all can hop in the comments. Let us know what y'all thinking. Y'all got questions for Sonny. Let us know who y'all think going to win tonight, man. We got, a, we got a long game ahead of us, man. And I think it's going to be a, it's gonna be an interesting one, man. I mean, we got, a, we got two teams, man. They sitting at the bottom of the league, which is a, a little unfortunate, man. They 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 normally are, are not used to being in this position with uh, Anadolu Ephes uh, being in the 15th spot, and then you have uh, Panathinaikos over there in the 16th spot. Both teams are having a rough start to the season, but uh, you know every game is a, a new day to get back on track, man. As as they got their their starting fives out there, man. I mean, the matchup I'm looking forward to, though, I'm, I'm looking forward to the guard matchup with Daryl Macon and, uh, and Shane Larkin and uh, Misha if he's, uh, if he's available tonight, man. So I, I think that's the matchup I'm looking forward to. What about you? Yeah, that's going to be a great matchup, man, especially I'm looking forward to uh, Shane Larkin and Daryl Macon, too, man. You know, he also, he's also an Arkansas Razorback. So, man, I definitely have to okay. get my support out. And, uh, yeah, this going to be a great matchup, man, seeing him. Uh, going in the summertime, working out with him and going up there, man, seeing those guys, seeing all the hard work he's put in. And now, you know, he's uh, right. one of the, you know, one of the premier guards in Euro League. So, man, this is a great matchup. Uh, Shane for Larkin, sure. I mean, he's, that, that speaks for itself uh, with him, just watching him. Uh, this is going to be a great matchup for sure. Yeah, I mean, I know, I mean, even just being a, I mean, being a hooper and just being in the, in the business, I mean, we're used to seeing players, uh, you know, change teams and be on, in different faces on different teams. Uh, how, right. how is it seeing like the new faces now, like on, on different teams from like the last time we <laughs> played here in league? Man, I feel like, I feel old, bro. You know, to, to, to be honest, because I remember uh, some of those players uh, that was kind of just starting in uh, Europe, you know, uh, uh, on some of the teams in Europe and just seeing those guys and Man, just seeing them now to where they are now, man, I'm just, you know, truly happy because, uh, man, I see those guys when they was younger. You know, I, it, I, it's, it's crazy that I say that because I make myself sound old, you know, even saying stuff right. like that. But, man, now it's good seeing these guys, man. The, the, the league has changed. I like how uh, your league has got more, you know, American guard, you know, dominant. You know, back in the day, it was just, you know, mm -hmm. all the European style. And I like how 
uh, Europe has, you know, uh, diversified, you know, the way they play the game over there. And, you know, that's amazing to see that the guys, the guards now are being able to flourish. So, man, it's, that's great to see these guys doing that. Yeah, man. And uh, it looks like you got some love on YouTube from my man Carl Earl. Excuse me if I yeah. pronounce your name wrong, but my man Carl <laughs> says, much love from Moscow. He said, man, What's much good, love. Man? Much love from <laughs> Moscow. Man, the place where I got my name, Cheska Moscow, man. Yeah. Oh man, I was uh, I was yeah. flying through the air through them days. Jeez. Yeah, nah, you 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 was you was doing a lot back then, boy. You yeah. putting them knees to work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Put a lot of yeah. miles on the legs back then. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. It was all transition game, man. Pull up jumpers and man, that's why I really got my yeah. opportunity. Where you know I started off in. Uh, Zagreus, uh, and Countess Lithuania, man. That's where I really got my start. But when I got to Moscow, mm -hmm. man, I just took off. You know, that's when I became, like, right. you know, uh, the Sunny Wings, you know, Euro League. So, uh, man, I, I have nothing but great memories of, you know, being in Europe, period, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. And, uh, looks like we got this game started. Both teams coming out smoking. T boy yeah, they hit, coming a, out. Uh, hit a jumper and, uh, and, and Howard. Oh, yeah. three. This is gonna be an interesting game, man. They got a uh, Elijah Bryant who uh, who just came over from the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Played a lot last yeah. year. Yeah, uh, big time scorer, man. He's a. Uh, I think that was scorer. a good pickup for uh, for Ephes. That's a great yeah, pickup. Ephes got so many guards, bro. Man, they got so much. <laughs> they got they so got, much, man. That's what make them so good, man. They're so quick, and they shoot the hell out yeah. of the ball. They Everybody shoot the ball. shoot right. <laughs> Yeah, everybody shoot it. I mean, Singleton, uh, everybody shoot the ball. And mm, one. That was a tough take. How were they playing no games early on, huh? No, I was saying Ross. No, I remember him. Uh, he was in, uh, I forget the name of the uh, Turkish team. Uh, but I said, remember him starting. I said, man, he was going to be good. It was in this damn boy. I forget yeah. the name of the team. Yeah, they uh, it's crazy, man. I, just last week we were watching uh, Fenerbahce, my man, uh, Achille Paulinar, man. I played with Achille years ago in Italy, man. When he was a young boy, he might have been 19, yeah. 20, man. And just to see how his game done grew now, it's so mature, yeah, man. man. It's, it's dope working. to see guys progress. Yeah, man. Yeah, them guys, he got number 74. Dope. Oh, what make him pick that number? No, nah, it's, it's dope know. to see him, man. It's dope to see these guys. I mean, I mean, that's a test to the hard work they put in in the offseason, too. So, yeah, so. Same. Yeah, no, nah, this is going to – I think it's going to be a pretty up-tempo game, man, you know. Both of these Shane's teams. Shane's been having a, a hell of a career with FS. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, Shane is uh, – My boy. My brother. Shane's been, with, Shane's been killing brother. Yeah, he's been having a great career. Oh, we got, we got a, we got another comment. <laughs> we got another comment saying, "Don't lie, Sonny. You got your name from Zalgiris. It was nice seeing you back in Kiwanis <laughs> for a bit. Would like to see you in the arena again one day." That's from LT. <laughs> yeah, man. No, no, I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't know that. Like I said, man, that's where I, you know, that's where uh, I, I went to Kiwanis during the lockout. Uh, doing the NBA lockout, and that's mm -hmm. what I was uh, the first NBA player uh, to, to you know sign with a European team doing the lockout, and you know Zagos was my first home. Okay, I mean he's right, man. That's where that's where it started, and that's where I mean if you you, you pull up them highlights, you're gonna be like, oh, uh, he really was yeah. playing. Oh, that was that real that young, energetic, you know that mad yeah. coming out the lockout, and right, you know right. didn't really want to be over there. So I'm trying to get I back. Had fresh so legs. Real mode. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so that was that gorilla <laughs> mode, man. You know, so, no, I still go back over there. Uh, I actually just came back okay. from over there this summer. You know, visiting. You know, uh, you know, just checking in with the team. You know, some of my old teammates that used to play there. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. So right. I was down there for a little bit. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, man, I know man. you've been playing in Europe uh, for a little bit, man. How was your yeah. career, man? Man, I I enjoyed it, man. I played I played a lot in France, Israel. Um, I had a little stint yeah. in Italy and, and Germany. Yeah, I bounced around, but uh, no, nah, I had a great time, man. I mean, just being able to hoop and like, one thing I think is dope is just being able to play in different countries, man, and seeing the different styles yeah. of basketball. You know, a true basketball head, like a hoop head, like 
It's yeah. uh, every country, every different style of play is just a new challenge, man. And I think that's that's dope, man. So no, nah, that's not nah, that's dope. Man, I try to tell some of the athletes more, man, to get more into, you know, man, visiting the culture, get a part of the culture, man. It's really dope yeah. you know, if they really take their time out and really, man, indulge in the culture, the food, the people, you know, what's For going sure. on, the society, man. I think that really love it. You know, that's what I've when I got over, that's all I do. You know, I can't sit in the hotel, you know, especially in the road game. So I just get up and watch, walk. Yeah. And I go to cafes, go to restaurants. You know, that's what I used to do a lot, yeah. you know, especially in Moscow when I used to travel. So, man, I've always been one of those guys that always advocated, you know, just seeing different cultures and uh, just being out there and just seeing not only, just, you know, just the American side, North American side of the world, just seeing everything, you know. Uh, you got some right. of the guys that take advantage of that, man. And that's one of the positive things I got about playing in Europe, man, just all the different countries and, you know, the cultures and the languages that I have to experience. So, yeah. I okay. If you had there. to take one dish, <clears throat> if you had to take one dish from overseas and you had to eat it for the rest of your life, which one would it be? One dish from overseas. Man, man, in Russia, they make this soup called borscht. And it's like, it's yeah, made out yeah, of well, beets you know. and, you know, I put sour cream yeah. in it, man. If I could eat that, uh, everywhere I go, I mean, no matter where I am, if I meet a Russian in China, I always ask them the same question: like, "Can you make borscht?" I was like, the, "I ate that every day uh, going into you know we just ate that you know pregame, and that's the number one meal right now. If I can have it every day, I would eat it every day. No lie, oh, <laughs> no lie. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Borscht is good for sure. Borscht is man, good. That tonight was starting off looking man. great. Man, Howard St. Rose out here. St. Rose, he's open. He distributed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he, he doing distributed. Everything. He doing everything. Yeah, team stuck with one win in Euro League, and uh, you know, so both of them could use this win. So I know they're gonna they're yeah. gonna scrap for it tonight. Yeah, they gotta get it. You know, yeah. Panathinaikos always scrap, especially at home, uh, especially oh, with sure. their crowd. I don't know how energetic they are right now, but man, with their crowd, that they always play hard. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Pull up three. Yeah. Jumper. Yes, sir. <laughs> they out. Yo, you getting that time out. <laughs> Black guy. Okay, talk to him then. Talk to him. That's what he do. That's what he do. He put he putting on, man. No he boy. must know you watching. He, he man. must know you <laughs> watching. Yeah, raise it back. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got uh, we got a good game so far. But the Nico signed uh, Yogi Ferrell too, man. They got so they got some heat yeah. coming off the bench as well. They got a nice little oh, good pickup, nice little sign. I think that's gonna help them out. I see uh, Euroleague yeah. going way more guard scoring now. See, they trying to put them points yeah. on the board now. Man. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I think too, it, it's the transition of the uh, it's the transition of the style of play. You know, basketball like the bigs are shooting threes now. You know what I'm saying? And right, it's, uh, I think that is. I think that's put so more of a it, yeah. precedence, yeah, on the guards having to shoot as well. So, uh, right, right, yeah, right. we got another comment. AG says, "Love from Israel. Hope to see you in Tel Aviv soon." Man, you, you man, got fans love. all over the place, man. They, they <laughs> trying to pull you everywhere. You go back to Europe, you might not man. come back home, man. I know, man. I know, man. Love Israel, man. I always love. I especially love the, the fans out there for. You know, for Maccabi, you know, uh, I've always wanted to play um, in that arena. I've always played against him, and I've always felt that energy going into that arena, man. And always, when then when I got my chance to play there, man, you know, unfortunately it ended the way it ended, but, you know, uh, man, I had a great time there. You know, playing in front of those fans, and, you know, we had a great team. We had, uh, man, we had Andrew uh, Gula, uh, Victor Rudd. Uh, yeah. We had uh, man, uh, DJ, Devin Smith was there, right? Uh, CLE. Yeah, Devin Smith. We had uh, yeah. uh Landis Bird. Uh, Landis Bird. Uh, I can't forget about the young boy, uh, Quinn Miller. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's Quincy that's Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quincy Miller. Quincy. Yeah, we had Quincy him. He Miller, had just yeah. been off injury too, so he was coming back. Man, unfortunately, we had went to like three coaches in December. So since uh, before December, yeah. but man, we we would have been a good team though, man. Uh, I always, I always I had great, you know, it was a great time, there, especially playing in front of those fans, man. If we were stuck together. We were yeah. really good. Really good. Yeah, nah. For sure, man. Looked like F is coming out a little sloppy tonight, man. Yeah, I see. <laughs> that picked up all over a little bit, man. 
Yeah, for yeah. sure, man. That's and that's one thing. Like F has lost their first four games of the season, man. And I always thought, man, like, I mean, they've been playing together so long, like they gonna they gonna yeah. turn it back around, you know? It's so early in the they season, had a couple vets, like, man. They, got, they had vets too. Yeah. yeah, they got vets. Brian Dustin. Uh, they got Simone. Yeah, they got a couple guys that man have been around for a while, so they know how to play. And the coach, yeah, the yeah, coach no, too. So, sure. man, you know, yeah, yeah, he's a Turkish yeah, legend, so. The coach, Ottman, sure, he's a Turkish legend, so man, he, they know how to, they'll figure it out. Who you got for the final four? Who you, who you going with? Man, final man, I think I think this year, and I've been on record saying this, and I, I, I'm gonna die on this hill. Uh, I think Barcelona, I think they're coming back for revenge this year. I don't think Barcelona gonna let this one slip. I think they gonna, mm-hmm. I think they gonna win the whole thing. I think you know, just last year the way things. Yeah, with the way things ended, you know, obviously, if everybody stays yeah. healthy, that's the, the number one important thing for any yeah. team winning it. But uh, I, I really like their squad, man. I liked them last year, you know what I mean? And you know, Collectors got hurt towards the uh, you know, the semifinals, but yeah, I think they're yeah, gonna be all right, but, too. Yeah, man, I got them, is I got so them, tough, man. yeah, they gotta be healthy. That's the only thing they gotta yeah. be healthy. Corbin Higgins, yeah, he's a, he's sure, a, he's an X factor. He got to play really. He got to. That's play my really. dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. got to play. He's 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 been playing great for them. He's really good for them. So efficient. He's so efficient. Man. Man. So yeah, make all yeah, the shots nah. he's supposed to make. Man, your boy making going off right now. He going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he going crazy, he going crazy on crazy. the boys, man. Yeah. Twenty-two. Hey, he got ten. Oh, he got early. ten right now. Oh yeah, he going he for got thirty. Ten early, yeah, nah, it's a, it's gonna be his little coming out party, man. He's been having, he's been having a great season so far. I think he's leading them in scoring fourteen yeah. points. You know, he's shooting four two for three, but uh, you know, man, this is uh, you say you wanted that gonna be a great game. Look at the guard matchup. Yeah, nah, it, it's here, <laughs> it's here. Yeah, you know, and they uh, they grooving right now. Yeah, F is gonna have yeah, to. They gonna grow. Is Dustin? Yeah, they gonna have to. They got F. Nah, I don't think he's playing today. I think he. Uh, oh, okay. I think he might be sidelined today. Okay. But yeah, no, nah, I think um, yeah, they gonna have to stop this pick and roll action. These guards yeah, they can't do no with it. They ain't got Dustin back there. Yeah, I know. He man. He, he's up. such a factor defensively. Defensively, man, he make up for a lot of mistakes. He all that up, man. Man, especially on the pick yeah. and roll, his arms so long. You know, I used to yeah give me hell in practice, but his arms are so long. He's active everywhere. Mm-hmm. Who was uh from your days in Euroleague? Who was one of the best like perimeter defenders you went up against? <sighs> Man, that's kind of hard. Back in the day, oh we, oh man, Barcelona had this guy, uh, American guy. I cannot think of his name. Legend. I cannot oh, think move. of his name, but. Oh. Maybe same height. I mean, he was a little bigger than me. You know, I was coming in Europe. I, I yeah. can't think of his name. I'm, I'm gonna get his name for you. But he was a little bigger than me. Yeah, um, we can come back you know, during that time when I was just. Yeah, yeah, we gotta yeah. come back to that. I'm thinking. I'm gonna get his name for that because we gotta get that. Yeah, nah, man. It's a man. That's one thing I love about your uh, Euroleague basketball, man. It's just defensively, man. The teams are just so sound. You know what I mean? And just the, just the rotations the and. Yeah, you do. And that's why I like a lot of guys really come from other game. leagues and they can't they can't be successful over here because it's like you make gotta it. score in a in a tight space and you know defensively you have to you have to grasp the strategy. <laughs> you gotta and come off that pick and coach. roll, you gotta read that defense. <laughs> it's, right. For yeah, sure, it's hard because everyone's so packed in the paint. You know, three seconds, no mm-hmm. three seconds. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, always hard. That's, that's what made me uh really uh, grow as a player, just learn how to just being over Europe, thinking the game, uh, not being able to, you know, uh, just use my athleticism, 
uh, too much. You know, yeah. especially I had Coach Messina also. Uh, mm-hmm. At Torrio Messina. Uh, before yep, he went to yep. Spurs, we had him also. It looked like his mic cut out. The defending champs back on track and get their first win of the season. We back. We back, we back. 22-10 as we're coming down to the end of the first quarter. Memphis needing, they need a bucket here. Right. In this game right now. And no wonder Abradovich has got to call a timeout. And there is no stopping Sonny Weems right now. Sporting tradition passed down the generations. For Johannes Papa Petru, basketball is in the blood. I grew up uh, in a basketball family. My dad used to play, uh, and my dad used to, uh, you know, correct me and, uh, and uh, help me grow as a person. And uh, he helped me shape uh, who I am today. I think, as far as my uh, career decisions and the teams that I have played until now. Uh, it was 100% my decisions and uh, whatever was making me happy at that moment and whatever I wanted. After making his EuroLeague debut in 2013, Papa Petru helped Olympia cross Piraeus to two Final Fours before crossing the divide to join crosstown rivals Panathinaikos Opap Athens in 2018. My five years in Olympiacos uh, cannot be uh, erased. It's a part of me and uh, you know I'm happy for this process and everything that we've achieved. But uh, uh, I decided to make this step. And, uh, you know, now I'm happy here. I try to give everything for Panathina and uh, uh, I'm very happy I belong here. I became captain here. I um, got more responsibilities and I hope I can, uh, you know, together with the team, achieve uh, greater things. Panathina is a big club with a great history and tradition. And uh, in order to be in this position, after uh, the people that uh, were captains before me. It's very honoring. Following a disappointing 16th place finish for the six time continental champions last season, Papa Petru will be pivotal to Panathinaikos's fortunes as they seek a return to the summit of European basketball. He's the face of, of Pau, and it was really important to, to keep him. Um, you know, during the summer, I was talking to him a lot, and when I saw that uh, there's a possibility of him staying, you know. My, my whole focus shifted to, 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 stay, to stay in Panathinaikos. He really brings um, a lot of experience that he has from his uh, past years and uh, he knows exactly now where to put like uh, when, when, when to be on a specific point on the game, uh, when to do the right play or um, the right pass and you know he's really special and it's helpful for us. You know I'm part of the team, I'm captain of this team and uh, I believe in our abilities. I try to practice and, and be available uh, as much as I can. Uh, pass on my experience maybe to younger guys or, or my experience for, from EuroLeague, which I play now eight years. 
and uh, you know try, try to be helpful in any way that I can uh, to my teammates, the club, and uh, so we can move all forward. I think I need to uh, lead by example. Uh, I try all my life to uh, work as hard as I can. I try to do the best I can every day. I try to make the most, and uh, in this way, I try to you know be the example uh, for every other guy in this team. Welcome back, y'all. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but the first quarter has ended, and we have a nine-point game. Anadu Efes trailing by nine points to Panathinaikos, and uh, looks like Daryl making man. He's uh, he's making an early running for MVP right now, man. Got a couple three-pointers, a couple couple two-point buckets. Yeah, he, <laughs> man, he, he came two. with it. He came with it. Yeah, he did. Everybody back home, we got a fantasy challenge. Uh, please go sign up. Fantasychallenge.euroleague.net. We have, uh, you can assemble your own teams, put your own teams together, trade players, go against each other. You know, I, I know if I had to construct my own fantasy team, I'm doing all the players I done had on this watch alone, man. I got Sonny Weems, Curtis Gerald, Eric McCollum, uh man, Peyton Siva. I had a bunch of players, man, a bunch of killers on on my fantasy team. So if we had a watch along, uh if we had a watch along fantasy team, I know for sure we'd be uh we'd be causing some trouble here in the Euro League. But you know, let's uh let's go back and um watch this game here as we uh down nine points with a Back to the free throw line, man. I think Ephes has definitely got to do a better job keeping uh, not the Nikos off the free throw line, man. There's been there's been a lot of fouls, and uh, you know it's hard to play catch up when they scoring and the clock ain't moving, man. They got to get them off this line, man. <clears throat> they have to get them off the line. They they off. Not too too many possessions in the game in Euro League. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a uh, it's important, man. So I think uh, we definitely got to find a way to get Shane going. Shane gonna have to pace this team, especially if uh, Mitchus is not gonna is not gonna play today. Yeah, Shane got to get going. Him and Simone. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think uh, I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting efforts to hop out. I want to get know, down too to much. Get down this. Yeah, get down too much too early, and especially on the road. Yeah, man. it's uh, it's tough. It's tough I mean, they're, they're short-handed. Those, there yeah, those McCall and Powell, and the more gyms. Yeah, he got him right there on the wrist. It looked like. Yeah. A single team back, going back to the line, so. Real yeah, vet, nah, man. I, mean, I think uh, why I remember playing him in the man, day. Man, been around forever was, in the uh, day. With Panther Nikos. Yeah, I remember playing against yeah. him, man. Night in, night out with Panther Nikos. Real. Yeah. Man, I think it's it's always a it's always a bonus. It's always a bonus, man, as a European team when you can kind of keep your players together, man, and they can kind of develop that chemistry, you know. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. That's always amazing, you know. It's a big, you know, Wait. building the team, building the dynasty. Yeah, for sure. What do you think? What do you think were some of your biggest adjustments in uh in coming over to Euroleague and playing the Euroleague? Like, what do you think was the one thing that you had to learn? You know, that was like the biggest uh, the area of growth for you. Uh, the pace of the game, man. You know, I was coming from Toronto. I was uh, used to moving so fast. I was a transition guy mostly. You know, and I, I did do a little transition when I got to, to Zagreb, but, you know, it taught me to slow down the game a lot more. Like I said, it wasn't even three seconds. So uh, it taught me how to use pick and rolls, taught me how to read defenses uh, coming off the pick and roll, you know, where the pass be, can I score at that time, or, you know, can I make the opposite pass, whether he's in the corner or the wing, you know. And it just taught me those things, just really reading the game. And, 
you know, that's one thing, that, the biggest thing that, you know, that I take away from, you know, being in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure, man. I think it uh, kind of makes you, you know, like you said earlier, man, not have to rely just on athleticism, man, because yeah. you know, they, they do a lot of things to kind of take that away. Like, you got to find exactly where you're going to use your athleticism. You can't just be going 100 sure. miles an hour every time. <laughs> no way. No way. And there's not that many possessions in a EuroLeague game. Well, in a European game, you know, and they don't call as many fouls. Yeah. And, you know, uh, they stop the ball, especially on the fast breaks. Uh, they used to do that heavy when right. I was, you know, when I first started playing. So it was kind of hard for me as a transition guy coming from Toronto, being a young guy, get up and down the floor. It's kind of hard for me to, you know, uh, play my game. So I had to adjust because of the foul situation, you know. Right. Right, man. And uh, looks like we got another comment from uh, Lithuania. AD Astra says, love you, Wings, from Zagreus, a fan. <laughs> Always love that, man. Lithuania, that's where it started for me. Always love. Yeah, yeah, big love out there, man. And uh, looks like we see we man, got Yogi Ferrell. Love. Yogi Ferrell's out there. Yeah, he's in there. Getting, uh, getting his runs, good shot. So he just got to the team. Yeah, yeah, he just signed within the last week or so. Uh, you know, yeah, he had, oh, he had one appearance, and uh, yeah, I think this is Euro League debut. So, oh, it's getting uh, yeah, let's definitely yeah. get those first game jitters out for him. Yeah, for sure. For sure, Especially man. Uh, Michael, those old fans demand a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They demand a lot, he, going, especially he, going against the defending champs. Yeah. No, nah, I think he's uh, – they're going to give him the rundown, man. He, uh, You know, last yeah. game he had three points and uh, three assists in ten minutes, you know, which is solid, you know, for his first little run. Yeah, in, which so. is for Europe, that's solid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, nah, it's solid. First in Europe. It's uh, it's an adjustment. Yeah. I mean, even just learning the systems and stuff like that, like you know, what I mean, it's like, you know, I, I think yeah. just the systems of different leagues are are, are tough, yeah. and uh, For you know, sure. I can only imagine, like, especially at that level, the the playbook is uh is definitely and just learning, man, like, learning those learning those coaches in Europe. That's what was one of the things they have to do, you know, learning how they want yeah. them to play and where they want them to be on the floor and. You know, all us coming in, you know, we have that thing and coming in Europe, you know, we want to do everything. You know, it's just that, right. that you know, uh, that, that ability to listen, you know, and to come in, you know, because yeah. you're not going to get, especially in Europe, not gonna, we're not going to get our way. You know, maybe now no. that's, you know, the coach is starting to open a little bit more to, you know, the American guards. But back then, you know, it was kind of hard. But just coming in and just learning how to deal with, the, you know, the coaches there and learning what they want and, you know, what they want out of you as a player. Yeah. So if you was... But let's just say you were to give advice to a young player. It's his first game in EuroLeague this year. What would you What would you tell him? Man, just be patient. Uh, especially in Europe, man. The, 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 the arenas are a lot hostile than you know the college arenas. Uh, you know that you know everything is a uh, lot like coming at you a lot fast. The pace of the game is a lot slower. Just slow down, man, and you know uh, take your time. You know, especially out there because you're coming in, you try to rush and try to do everything. And, you know, that's what a lot of, you know, a lot of players, you know, kind of get in the bind that, you know, coming on and try to do everything all at once, you know, and yeah. feed into the culture, man. If you come over there, you know, buy into the culture, you know, that's how you get yeah. that. That's how you build that rapport. That's how you build a relationship with your teammates and the players. That's how you mm -hmm. get the fans involved. That's how the fans love you, you know, uh, yeah. get involved with your teammates, get involved with the culture, eat their food, you know, try to learn a little bit mm -hmm. of their language, uh, just getting involved of the everyday coaches, not just basketball players. You're over there 10 to 12 months, you know? Yeah. So, you know, if you're over there, uh, man, if you over there with the European fans, man, you have to understand their love for sports and their love for a team. Right. They're really dedicated. They're really loyal to their sports. So if you can get over there, you can get in good with those fans. And, you know, you can, you know, you show them that you're willing to, you know, understand their culture, man, they'll love you forever, man. You can stay with them forever. Wow, that's a, you, you know? And that's a fact. Yeah, that's the advice I always give all the players, bro. And you know that for sure, yeah. man. Indulge yeah. in the culture, man. I mean, it's a wonderful sure, culture, man. history. Man, Europe has amazing history that goes back to, you know, centuries, man. I mean, it's, I, and I'm a historian right. myself. You know, that's what I do, you know, when I travel, man. I try to, you know, uh, pick up a little bit of information as much as I can, no matter what country I'm in, no matter what uh, content I'm on. You know, I try to pick up as much information as Indeed. I can. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. That's 
No, that's a that's a one advice right there, man. And I, no, for you know, sure, I usually man. try to tell players, you know, everybody playing in the in Europe, man, like get to know your local teammates as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of guys sometimes just try to stick up with the Americans a lot, and uh, you know, mm-hmm. just get to know the local players. And, and it's a, it's a comfort level. It you can know, make your experience level, so much you know, better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a comfort level, which I understand, you know, not being going to a foreign country and not being able to speak the language and automatically you're going to gravitate towards the people, you know, you're used to seeing. And, you know, it's just a comfort level, just getting out of there, just stay, taking that step ahead, man, just getting out your comfort level, man, just and doing it. That's all it is. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah, for sure, man. And everybody back home, you can catch this game that we're watching right now on EuroLeague.net or EuroLeague.tv. You got all the information you'll need, and uh, you can sign up. We got a promo code, watch along 10, watch along in the number 10, and you get your uh, 10% pass. off for those of you that don't live in Italy and Spain. And that was a great pass by Shane. You got to come up and finish great that. Pass. It's $3 on the other end. Sheesh. <laughs> boys came out hitting today, boy. Yeah, they came ready to play. Papa Petru, man, he's been he, he's been really coming on, man, the last couple of years, man. He's uh he's having a great year this year. But uh yes. you know, even even the year before, man, he's been he's been playing well, man. You know, I wonder how yeah, that was coming to get from Olympiacos. Switching from Olympiacos to uh, you know, Panathinaikos. I know that was hard for him, man. Uh, I know that was hard. I know it was hard, especially being Greek, <laughs> like <laughs> Oh man. my God! I know that was hard for them, man. That, that, they live and they breathe those colors, and I used yeah. to see that every single day, man. I used to hear it all the time, and you caught with the wrong. I mean, you know, even a, I, I think it was the Danny, uh, Danny Ainge got caught over there one time going to the game, <laughs> and he was in with the oh, wrong yeah. colors or something. Yeah, <laughs> and they, they they got a, they got a hold of him. So <laughs> I think yeah, he went to a game over there. And ain't nobody he had the wrong colors or something. Yeah, and they got a hold to him, man. I, you know, a couple oh, years ago, man, they had the to kill yeah, It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah nah, it's a, it's definitely a, it's definitely a different environment, man. But uh, yeah, yeah, nah, he's a as a player, you playing that, you want year. that, you know? Yeah, no, nah, it makes it make it adds meaning to the games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it adds yeah. another another meaning to the games, man. And yeah, no, um, it really does. Nah, it's, it's, Man, I remember one thing so, coming off the old screens in Europe. You just see them come off two of those screens. Mm-hmm. The down yeah. screen, and then the back screen come off the down screen again. <laughs> yeah, man, I remember those days. Nah, you. I used to have they, to chase they them. They get man. you open, man. Mm-hmm. They get you open. That's had, one thing. Uh, one thing like underrated. Days. You gotta have. A... Go ahead. No, go ahead. My bad. No, I was just gonna say, man. That's just one thing to have a great relationship with your bigs, man, and get you open. It makes a world of a difference. Oh yeah. They set solid screens, don't they? <laughs> mm-hmm. Man, I had Sasha Khan and then they Christian setting screens uh, for me uh, mm-hmm. back then. <laughs> and then we had uh, we had Nando and we had Teo on the wing. Yeah, man, it was crazy. Oh man. yeah, yeah, yeah y'all crazy. Cheska squad was crazy. Man, it was crazy. Three final fours in a row, man. No championship though. Yeah, that's, that's the tough. crazy part. That's the crazy. We had a lot which, which of time one? Which this. one do you? Which one? Which one do you feel like you you really had, but you just lost it? Like which one do you think? Which which championship do you think was like y'all's to lose? Man, the second one. The second one. Uh, Cal no more. When uh uh when Kill Bill was there, and he hit us with the tray mm-hmm. ball uh to send us to oh what no he sent us he hit the tray ball. To go up, I think Nando was going them at the time. We had that one. Bro. We was up by like maybe five yeah. or six, with like a minute and a half left or something. We just tricked it all off, man. We had a lot yeah. of people on. We had a lot of, you know, is it having a lot of talent on the team? We had a lot of guys on the team. It was me, Teo, Nene, Sasha, Nando. So yeah, it was like, man, it was. We should have won, but you know how that goes sometimes. Yeah, but I had a, nice. we had a, man, yeah, we had a great career. Yeah, we had three years. I I lost maybe what I would say seven games at Cheska in like three mm-hmm. years. I would say mm-hmm. no more than twelve. I would wow. say. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. Tough. We was, yeah. No, no, we was a powerhouse. And what we were, just what pretty, were those? You know, what we were those practices like, man? <laughs> I imagine they was pretty. Man, intense. Man, with the... intense, yeah. bro. Because 
I mean, everyone wants to, you know, everyone was the man. We had, you know, we understand who Nene was. You know, at the time, you know, Karolinko mm-hmm. came back also. We had Karolinko. Mm-hmm. We had Milos. So everyone was trying to, you know, everyone was trying to be the guy. You know what I mean? So those practices, yeah. man, we was going in. I'm talking about first and second team scrimmages were, I mean, sometimes Messina, you know, uh, he just let us go. You know, just let us yeah. go. Just let us play. I mean, a little structure to it, but. I mean, when you got that much time, right. those players, you know, been around for a while. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you don't really have to coach them. Just let them go. You know, we had one of the smartest. Right. Yeah, y'all definitely had a, y'all definitely had a good team. Going back to the game, we got a, uh, we got F is down eighteen. I don't think a lot of people saw this coming. F is down eighteen. Okay. On the fast break, and a slam on the back end as well. This man is on fire. Sonny Weems is running this game right now. And no wonder Abradovic has got to call a timeout. And there is no stopping Sonny Weems right now. Once again, sorry for the technical difficulties. We're back. D making back in the building. Man, (laughs) they got 19. 19 points. I did not see this coming, man. Nah, me neither. Oh, my gosh. Me neither. Shame with the answer. Let's get get something going. Let's go. Let's get something going, man. Let's get it. (laughs) Man, 16-point game right now. F is going to have to pick up the pressure a little early, man. Man. I know they ain't trying to burn those legs out, but uh, man, be making trying to make this stuff noticeable. Oh, for make. sure. Oh, he trying to okay. Don't play with him. Back him out there. Uh, uh, I know that. I know that Swiss coach is worthy. Oh uh, yeah, you already know he going up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he going up tomorrow. My goodness, <laughs> he going He's crazy. Eating. What he got? Sixteen right now. <laughs> Yep, yep, three for three. Girl, Megan got on the field and from the three. My goodness, he is eating. This is tough, man, because this is the matchup we was looking for, man. And uh, you know, between Shane and and, and Daryl, you know, what I'm saying, I think this is this is kind of the matchup we were looking for. And uh, I mean, Daryl's definitely he's definitely winning this matchup right now. But sheesh. He ain't playing no game. Looks like Shane got another free throw. Let's see. They're going to cut this down to 17 with this free throw. Uh. See what's going to happen. I was saying Ross pulling it up. on the fast break and a slam on the back end as well this man is on fire Sonny Weems is running this game right now and no wonder Abradovic has got to call a timeout and there is no stopping Sonny Weems right now
sporting tradition passed down the generations. For Johannes Papapetrou, basketball is in the blood. I grew up uh, in a basketball family. My dad used to play. Uh, and my dad used to, uh, you know, correct me and, uh, and uh, help me grow as a person. And uh, he helped me shape uh, who I am today. I think as far as my uh, career decisions and the things that I have played until now, uh, it was 100% my decisions and uh, whatever was making me happy at that moment and whatever I wanted. After making his EuroLeague debut in 2013, Papa Petru helped Olympia cross Piraeus to two Final Fours before crossing the divide to join crosstown rivals Panathinaikos OPAP Athens in 2018. My five years in Olympiacos uh, cannot be uh, erased. It's a part of me and uh, you know I'm happy for this process and everything that we've achieved. But uh, uh, I decided to make this step and uh, you know, now I'm happy here. I try to give everything for Panathinaikos and uh, uh, I'm very happy I belong here. I became captain here. I um, got more responsibilities and I hope I can, uh, you know, together with the team achieve uh, greater things. Panathinaikos is a big club with a great history and tradition. And uh, in order to be in this position, after uh, the people that uh, were captains before me, it's very honoring. Following a disappointing 16th place finish for the six-time continental champions last season, Papa Petru will be pivotal to Panathinaikos' fortunes as they seek a return to the summit of European basketball. He's the face of, of Pau and it was really important to, to keep him. Um, you know, during the summer I was talking to him a lot and when I saw that uh, there's a possibility of him staying, you know, my, my whole focus shifted to, 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 stay, to stay in Panathinaikos. He really brings um, a lot of experience that he has from his uh, past years and uh, he knows exactly now where to put like uh, when, when, when to be on a specific point on the game, uh, when to do the right play or um, the right pass and you know he's really special and it's helpful for us. You know I'm part of the team, I'm captain of this team and uh, I believe in our abilities. I try to practice and and be available uh, as much as I can. Uh, pass on my experience maybe to younger guys or, or my experience for, from EuroLeague, which I play now eight years. And uh, uh, you know, try, try to be helpful in any way that I can uh, to my teammates, the club, and uh, so we can move all forward. I think I need to uh, lead by example. Uh, I try all my life to uh, work as hard as I can. I try to do the best I can every day, I try to make the most and uh, in this way I try to you know, be the example uh, for every other guy in this team. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but I'm sure you guys were tuned in to the Daryl Macon show as he has 21 points as we're nearing the end of the first half. My goodness, he has been eating and he's having a stopped. game right now. My gosh. He, uh, he's he looks like he's going for right 40. Now. He came he ready to play. That 40 water. He did. Definitely came he ready did, to play. Man. And he got him up 18 right now, uh, 17. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, yo, it's a it's a heck of a game for him, man. And we got yeah, five seconds. for them to get it back in this game, they're gonna need Shane and Simone to come on with it tonight. They're gonna need a better second yeah. half out of them. Let's see what Yogi got. Last shot, Ooh, good balance. Oh, he missed it. That's the end of the first half, man. Panathinaikos is up 17 as we head into halftime, man. I mean, I think I think it's common knowledge now. We ain't even got to say who the MVP of the first half is, man. <laughs> I mean, he's showing it right now. That. He's been watching the game. Man, <laughs> Daryl Mason has come out five for five, for three points, 21 points. He's a. Uh, He's on fire, man. He's uh he's unconscious, but I mean you you said he'd be putting in that work. So I mean I guess we shouldn't yeah. be surprised. 
Not at all. I mean, I've seen it in the summer times. He came ready to play tonight, and he's showing it tonight. He's ready for you, Elite. <laughs> yeah, nah, for sure, man. I mean, it's uh, it, it's always good to see the the young players, you know, come in and get comfortable and you know play extremely well. Uh, you know, I, he hasn't missed a shot, you know, to this point. And uh, you know, I, I I hope to see it, man. Twenty one points in eleven minutes. That's tough. You can't ask for too much more. It's such a big game against the defending champs. So, uh, but yeah, let's uh, let, let's check out and see what uh, what else is going on around your league. Let's do it. On the fast break, and a slam on the back end as well. This man is on fire. Sonny Weems is running this game right now. And no wonder Abradovic has got to call a timeout. And there is no stopping Sonny Weems right now. Sporting tradition passed down the generations. For Johannes Papa Petru, basketball is in the blood. I grew up uh, in a basketball family. My dad used to play, uh, and my dad used to, uh, you know, correct me and, uh, and uh, help me grow as a person. And uh, he helped me shape uh, who I am today. I think, as far as my uh, career decisions and the things that I have played until now. Uh, it was 100% my decisions and uh, whatever was making me happy at that moment and whatever I wanted. After making his EuroLeague debut in 2013, Papa Petru helped Olympia cross Piraeus to two Final Fours before crossing the divide to join crosstown rivals Panathinaikos OPAP Athens in 2018. My five years in Olympiacos uh, cannot be uh, erased. It's a part of me and uh, you know I'm happy for this process and everything that we've achieved. But uh, uh, I decided to make this step. And, uh, you know, now I'm happy here. I try to give everything for Pathna and uh, uh, I'm very happy I belong here. I became captain here. I um, got more responsibilities and I hope I can, uh, you know, together with the team, achieve uh, greater things. Pathna is a big club with a great history and tradition. And uh, in order to be in this position, after uh, the people that uh, were captains before me. It's very honoring. Following a disappointing 16th place finish for the six time continental champions last season, Papa Petru will be pivotal to Panathinaikos's fortunes as they seek a return to the summit of European basketball. He's the face of, of Pau, and it was really important to, to keep him. Um, you know, during the summer, I was talking to him a lot, and when I saw that uh, there's a possibility of him staying, you know. My, my whole focus shifted to, 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 stay, to stay in Panathinaikos. He really brings um, a lot of experience that he has from his uh, past years and uh, he knows exactly now where to put like uh, when, when, when to be on a specific point on the game, uh, when to do the right play or um, the right pass and you know he's really special and it's helpful for us. You know I'm part of the team, I'm captain of this team and uh, I believe in our abilities. I try to practice and, and be available uh, as much as I can. Uh, pass on my experience maybe to younger guys or, or my experience for, from EuroLeague, which I play now eight years. And uh, uh, you know, try, try to be helpful in any way that I can uh, to my teammates, the club, and uh, so we can move all forward.
I think I need to uh, lead by example. Uh, I try all my life to uh, work as hard as I can. I try to do the best I can every day. I try to make the most. And uh, in this way, I try to you know, be the example uh, for every other guy in this team. Victor Rudd on the fast break and a slam at the back end as well. This man is on fire. Sonny Weems is running this game right now. And no wonder Abradovich has got to call a timeout. And there is no stopping Sonny Weems right now. Back at halftime, Panathinaikos up 17 against the defending champs. Man, what a game, what a half. Other other action across EuroLeague, Asvel is up nine points against Cheska Moscow right now. Mm-hmm. Asvel's been a surprise this uh, this season, man. They've been a uh, yeah, they have been surprising some guys and been been winning some games, man. man. It's uh, it's really good to the see GM them. Been working over there. Hey, put man, a nice little roster Parker, man, man over the past he, uh, couple of years. <laughs> man, TP know what he's doing over there, man. He know about yeah, winning a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Bit. <laughs> he he know about winning a little over there. bit. Yeah, nah, for sure. So, they, uh, yeah, they're up nine against Cheska, man. I think uh, Cheska made some changes this uh, this offseason. You know, they added Shved and, you know, um, and I think that, it's uh, it's always tough when you when you're moving pieces and then pieces are obviously leaving, you know, with the departure of Mike James and whatnot. But um, right, right. You know, again, going back yeah, to like chemistry kind of like we were talking before, it kind of shakes things up, man. When you gotta move pieces around, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, that's that's hard. That's, I know that's they're going through it right now, but it's Cheska, man. They're powerhouse. They'll get through it. Yeah, nah, for sure, man. And uh, everybody back home, please uh, leave some questions uh, in the comment box, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll get to them as uh, as the second half starts, man. But, uh, man, I really like, I really like uh, Papa Giannis for uh, Panathinaikos, man. Real good young big, man. He's obviously, he's, what, 7'3 or something like that, but... Uh, you know, I think he he's made his presence felt in this game, and uh, he's uh, he's made his presence felt. I mean, I think the the entire entire season so far. Uh, but I'm excited to. Uh, I think he needs three blocks to reach 100 blocks in Euroleague. I mean, he's only he's only 24 years old. You know, so I think Papi Giannis is obviously going to be the uh, one of the next All Star bigs. Uh, all star bigs of the uh, of the Euro League in the foreseeable future. Well yeah, let's see what else is uh see what else is cooking, please. And everybody don't don't forget to stand by and come come back with us tomorrow. We got a uh, Tyrese Rice coming in for the uh for the Barcelona game. One so, of another you know, Euro League uh, legends. Man, another le- man like another going back legend. To, I mean, the whole we have uh, you know they got this fantasy challenge going on with uh with a uh, on EuroLeague.net fantasychallenge.euroleague.net. And I was just saying mm-hmm. earlier, man, if we had a fa- if we had a fantasy team of all the guys that I've had on the watch along alone, I think we'd be Ooh. tough, man. We had C- Curtis Geralds, Eric McCullum, Sonny Weems, Peyton Siva. Casey, oh, no, you had Tyrese all, yeah, pulling up had tomorrow. Man, we had, the OG we'd have been small. We'd have been small, but I could have, you know, we'd have spaced them out, though. We'd have spaced we them good. out. We <laughs> good. They got to guard us, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they man. Got they got us, man. Yeah, man. Like what you're doing <laughs> man, with this, man. They're going to have to sit down. The, yeah. I like what you're doing with this, man, breaking all the tension to 
man, overseas players, man. Uh, salute, man. Like I said, a hundred times to you, bro, nah, for doing what you're doing. Nah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's uh, it's just dope, man, to be able to watch a EuroLeague game and hear stories from the EuroLeague stars and, you know, just even the insight, man. Right. I think right. it's, uh, it, yeah. it's cool, man, because there's only been a select few that have been able to be in those trenches, man. And, and y'all know it best, man. And you want to know something, go to the source. Go to the source, and you have the source right here. And he bringing it to you, man. So, like I said, man, salute for giving these players, you know, a voice, man, especially during these times, you know. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, nah, for sure, man. For sure, man. And uh, Tahir from YouTube is an FS fan. He's showing some love in the comments. And uh, we got another one. I'm going to try to read Russians. Pan. Uh, I can't even. I was paying something, but uh, Sonny from yeah, Russia with love. Try. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I always love, man. I always was love. I spent yeah. three years of my career in Moscow, man. I always, I, I got nothing but love for that city. Yeah, no, nah, it's uh, it's dope, man. But going back to Ephesus, what do you think they got to do in this second half, man, to turn things around? Man, I think uh, one of the keys, man, Shane's just got to be Shane. That's all. He's just gonna have to. Mm -hmm. uh, He's going to have to be the hero in the second half if you want to get him back in this game. You know, Megan is playing really good. So uh, if they can stop him and Shane can get, get him back in it, then I think they'll be good. But it's kind of hard for them. They're missing a couple pieces uh, coming into yeah. this game. So, uh, you know, if they can get out of this game with a, you know, and not get beat so bad, then I mean, that's probably a win for them, for, especially for the pieces they missing. Yeah, yeah. I think, and going back to what we was talking about earlier, I mean, just having a healthy team. It's so important, you know, in the yeah. Euro League. Like, you know, you got to have your bodies yeah. there. I mean, you sign these guys for a reason. And, uh, you right, know, right. it's unfortunate sure. when players get hurt, but it's uh, it's tough. And that's tough what you get, to, man, uh, with, a, you know, with the season being so close to it, you know, back to, with, the, with the virus and everything, man. You know, players playing a lot of games, haven't had a lot of rest, though. So, uh, injuries injuries are part of it. So, you know, it's a long season. Them guys will probably be back, you know, yeah. no time soon. Yeah. Yeah, nah, for sure, man. Oh, we got a we got a comment from my man Fearless. He says, "Anthony and Sonny, greetings from the stadium. Watching the game on the front row, amazing atmosphere here." Yeah, you know, got somebody yeah, tapping in while they watching the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know, man. We about to do this thing that. live, man. For we about to holler man. at Euroleague, man. Go do this thing live, man. Man, let's hey listen. Let's set the table up, man. Courtside, man, like they do with the TNT boys, man. Let's get there. Right. Let's get yeah, there. They need not, it, man. You really need it, man. You really need it, man. Yeah, look. They need the exposure. Yeah, we gonna they have to. The, they need the source. Hey, let's let's start a petition, man. Everybody online, man. We gonna set up a link, sign a petition, get Anthony and Sonny to come out there and uh, you know talk about these yearly games, man. Let's do it. Sign up. Sign it. <laughs> we'll come yeah, out there. Let's, no let's problem. Get the, let's get man, it going. For sure. get, this thing, <laughs> get this thing popping, man, because, yeah, nah, man, there's a there's, there's going to be a bunch of good games, man, even coming out. I'm real excited for this EuroLeague season, man. It's a lot of talent in the in the league, as always, but, uh, you know, I think we yeah, got some man. surprises. I, I mean, it. Monaco's playing well. Asbel's playing well. you got great teams like Ephes at the bottom who you know is going to rise yeah. to the top eventually. Yeah. So, you know, just how everything's going to shake out, man. I think it's going to – we got the makings for a uh, a nice ending to the EuroLeague season come the second half sure, of the season. Sure, that was a good – that was a nice move with, man, Mike James going over to Monaco, man, giving, giving that life to that city. I don't know if you've ever been to Monaco, but, oh, man, that's a great man, place I was just to out be, there a couple baby. weeks ago. That's I was a just great out place there a couple weeks that. ago. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, a little man, pricey, Monaco. but that's a that's a whew, that's a great place to be, man. Pricey, pricey ain't the word, but man, it's, nah, it's nah, nice out it. there, man. <laughs> you had to have a different kind of pockets to get out there. <laughs> for sure, for sure, it ain't, it ain't for everybody. <laughs> it ain't for not everybody. at all, bro. Not at all. But yeah, now nah, Monaco, Monaco is definitely nice, man. You know, I can enjoy this first. Yeah. You know, what I mean, I couldn't live out there though. For sure. My bread ain't long okay, I see like they that. going back with Simone <laughs> in the star lineup for the second half, I see. Yeah, now nah, they uh let's see how they come out, man. I think it's uh 
it's gonna be it's gonna be important for these guys to get it going. Mm-hmm. Man, I think not the Nikos, man. They just aggressive right now, man. Oh, yeah, they're hungry. They ready to play. Man, that's how that's how they started. The, that's how they started the game, like right at the basket, ASAP with Howard. I mean, and they playing the defending yeah. champ, so yeah. That's that's, that's, that's they picking, right yeah. picking up full court. Yeah, they picking up full court, edging that half court. Yeah, they they with it right now. Playing with the game, All right, Roddy. High hedges too. <laughs> Good pass shot. Man, man. man I, Roddy, Roddy, I feel like he doesn't get talked about enough, man. I love his game. I mean, he especially don't. with so much talent on that team last year. But, I mean, he's he's definitely an expert. He's one of the main he's reasons tough. they won last year. He's played, yeah. he played great last season. For sure. St. Rose. For sure. Shoot it. He played great. Okay. So, ain't getting aggressive. Man. That's all. Let's just need the old Shane to come alive. Come alive. Yeah. Yeah, nah. He's, he's, he's definitely going to have to force the issue a little bit. Yeah. He's going to be. He's going to be straight. Mm, open three. There Simone you go. be kind of quiet also. That's what you need. Yeah. For sure. He's been kind of quiet. Well, it looks like they about to they could get it they could get it under ten, man. They gonna they're gonna be all right. They're gonna stay in striking distance. Little by little. Yeah, they gotta make a run. Make it ain't mm-hmm. missing though. Making... <laughs> be making on fire tonight. <laughs> he went to bed early last night. <laughs> He's ready for this game. Jeez. He, he wasn't playing no games, man. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> they must came in and said, hey, listen, you got a bonus now. <laughs> yeah, put a, put a little <laughs> back it. on it. You had to. Man. <laughs> playing, the, the, playing the defending yeah. champs for sure. Oh, no, nah, for sure, man. He, he know what time sure. it is, man. Look. He know he know who he's playing, who he lined up against, For he knew who sure. he's going against, and he he came ready to play, man. They got the old man, G legend as what the GM, the owner, Dia Matias. Oh yeah, yeah. So he yeah, yeah, so he know what's going on. I'm talking man, about OG. I remember guards, days playing man. against him. Man, he was tough. I, I, I had to I, was, I had to guard him man, back in the day. Tough. Yeah, I had okay. to guard him back in the day because I was, you know, I'm six. He he was six five, you know, point yeah, guard, he big. He was real big methodical, point guard. slow motion, and that was that that was yeah. that Luca before that Luca came around, you know, like that left hand uh-huh. Luca, that slow methodical, yeah. used to pick and roll, put you on his back. Man, I learned all of him just watching him and Teo all those years, bro. You couldn't, man, if you didn't learn anything from those two guys, man, I bet. Uh, of how to use the pick and rolls, man. That's all I did was get knowledge from those guys. Playing them, I was playing against them. I was playing against Teo every day in practice. And, you know, whenever we played right. Demetrius, I was guarding them. Um, so, man, then we had Nando in practice. So, just learning from those guys, man, it was just, yeah. you know, I, I just grabbed nothing but knowledge being in Europe, man. No, nah, that's tough, man. That's a that's a great experience, man, just looking back on a career. Yeah. Man, to be, you know, to share the floor with that kind of talent, man, That's that's dope. That's super Man, dope. I had some great players, man. Europe was buzzing back in the day, man. We had some great players. Great players running Ooh, through, man. These okay. players, even now, man, they have some. Ay. Jeremy he tried it. Home, he tried. He did. He tried it. They got a 16-point game, man. But not the Nacos. They done lost their last three in a row, man. So this would be a big win for them if they can pull this off. Oh yeah, they need this. I wonder they're playing some. Yeah, they need this one. They're hungry tonight for this one. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. They gotta step up high on D Macon. I can't let him get that off. Oh no. Yeah, you gotta you gotta press that on ball, man. You gotta press that on ball. Like I don't I don't even Let's know. Let's go, Simone. Oh, that was a good pass. Good pass. That's, a good That's what he do though. <laughs> That's what he do. Mm-hmm. That was 
a good pass, man. They on. They right there, man. They could get it within ten, heading into the fourth. High pick and roll, same rules. Mm. Man, going back to uh, going back to all that talent, man. You know, 2013, 2014, You made first team All Euro League. You know how how, yeah. how did it feel being recognized for your for your accomplishments back then? Man, it felt great, man. Because even the year before that, I thought I I, I should have won. Uh, man, because you know my efficiency mm-hmm. was crazy when I was with Chesky. You know, I was the leading scorer uh, for the the, the mm-hmm. whole three years I was there. So you know, I think I. But being right. recognized um, as you know, one first team Yuli, man, it was a great honor for me, man. Just being a part of that, uh, just that conversation, you know, uh, at the end of the season, and you know, uh, being yeah. recognized as one of the elites over a year, man, I always. I always, you know, uh, felt that accomplishment, you know, and I've always cherished that, you know, throughout my career because, you know, like I said, man, Europe is one of the places where, you know, I got my name and, you know, being recognized, yeah. you know, over there, you know, I should have got, I was mad at your league for not giving me a decade, one of the decade players of the year, but, you know, that's another story. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, I felt great all along. Just, just you know, just just having the history I can go back to and other people can, you know, you know, to, to, to watch, you know, the history that I made, man, it's just, it's just wonderful right. for me, you know, and the fans still come in, you know, it's just wonderful for me to, you know, have, still be able to experience that and still be able to play into this day. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, man. That's a hell of an accomplishment. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like Coach uh, Ottoman has been ejected from uh, I see that. from the game. <laughs> so it looks like Ephesus is going to be – they down a few players and they down a head coach. But, uh, you know, let's see how the players respond. Um, yeah, the best guy, know, the best guy guess, to step up. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, how, how big of a deal do you think this is? Like, on the road, losing your head coach so early or halfway through the third quarter, you think that's going to uh, be such big. a big deal? Or... Yeah. Real big, man, because you need those on-the-fly changes, man, that the only the coaches and the players that really know mm-hmm. each other, you know, especially in a hostile it. environment, like being in Panthenico, and he came down with the three. Yeah. Man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, it's getting ugly for him. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's definitely tough. I mean, I think I think if you uh if you had to go through it, you want to do it with this veteran group here. But yeah, for sure. You, know, you definitely don't want to lose your coach in uh in this type of environment. No, no, you never want to lose your head coach in any type of environment, but it is what it is. And they picked up on that momentum. Man, they did. This is <laughs> this is this is daylight for Pano right now. They they got the momentum. They taking advantage. They just playing good basketball, man. I Finding know the gym high rocking hands. too. Man, they uh, man, they they playing a heck of a game right now. That was DMT today, boy. Those fans used to be in. Now I'm talking about standing room only, po- riot gear, police, everything. It used to be yeah, nah. jumping in that place. I, I can imagine, love man. It looks, gym, man. We got a we got a comment from Gabe Beechner. Sonny love watching you play ball at Arkansas. Saying this as a Kentucky fan. Oh, that's big from a Kentucky fan. <laughs> fan. Woo pig, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's <laughs> real big from a Kentucky fan acknowledging a Razorback. <laughs> Salute to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, they giving they giving a lot of love, man. It's dope to see, man. Yeah, they giving some love, man. I've been a lot of places in my see. career, man. I went junior college, all everything. Been a lot of places. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's it's something. And that's where I think that, like, you know, players should all have, like, a, you know, kind of like a ceremony <laughs> or something at the end of their careers and just kind of just take a moment to, to look back and recognize that whole journey, man, because, you know, when yeah, a basketball you, career we, you say you did ends, that. man, it's a lot. Yeah, just to say, like, yo, you say you did what that. I did, man. Yeah. I was telling somebody, man, I've been in a – I've been overseas for uh, 12 – Years now, and I would say you know twelve block. years. I probably probably been home maybe a month and three months, four months out of that, in like twelve right, years. Just right. being overseas playing a year, a lot of people don't know that grind, man. That's a long grind. Yeah, yeah, nah, it is. It's definitely a grind, man. And 
So, I mean, even going back to, you know, just playing in China and winning some championships out there, how's that experience been for you? Man, it's been how great, that transition man. Because I, I mean, from Europe to China. Uh, wasn't that hard, man? Uh, oh, I've my actually, you know, God. And, oh, my goodness. He's on fire. <laughs> man, the transition wasn't bad, man. Uh, as far as going over there, I mean, I'm, you know, uh, you know, some of the top players over there. So, um, only thing that I really had to uh, get adjusted to is, you know, the refs calling the fouls. <laughs> uh, that's about it, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't really, you know, I've always, I've been in China for the long, you know, I never really cared about know any stats or anything with me my thing i've always been about being consistent you know i've always been uh if i can keep doing it, if i can keep doing it uh, especially at the age i am now you know just being consistent and always working hard at what i'm doing and if i can keep winning championships it's not about you know the, the stats you know the assists and, and the scores that i have it's about it. if i can right. maintain um this level of success and if i can do that then you know that's why i base my you know of uh, uh, being great on you know with my career yeah, no, nah, that's a that's a dope thing to look at it, man. And I think like yeah, you know, just looking at your career as a whole, man, you got a bunch of different countries. You touched every level of uh of, of of elite basketball, and then you know you got some got some trophies to 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 man, speak for some. as well. Some trophies <laughs> and some medals. Some trophies and some medals, yeah, man. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with yeah, that, man. I've been blessed. No, right. And, he, blessed, and he's man. still you know. kicking. And he's still kicking at thirty five. Still, still going. Kicking. Still going, still jumping, still all that, man. And, you know, it's just a test of my hard work. It's still, work, a, it's I'm still a an gym, island so. you don't want to be on. Let them know it's still an island I, you don't oh, want to be on. At all, bro, at <laughs> all. This, 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 this thing over here is still solid. It's still <laughs> solid no matter what level it is, you know. And that's just me, man. I, I'm, a, I'm a hard worker. I'm a gym rat. I've always been that way. So uh, it's just me just doing right. what I do. Yeah. So what 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 changes what changes have you made over your career in regards to like taking care of your body? Uh, just being in the gym, just uh being on the weights a lot more, doing Pilates. I do a lot of Pilates now. Okay. Uh, uh Pilates, okay. Is a lot of core work, you know. So it works on your back as you get older. You know, mm -hmm. your back is not as strong, but doing Pilates, you know, it kind of works on my core. Uh, it, it stretches my my elongates my body a lot. So you know, I don't always walk lump slump, slumped over and stuff like that. So. Just small things yep, like yep. that, you know, paying attention to small details like that, just making sure my body's always loose, um, stuff like that, man. Just being, like I said, just being in the weight room a lot more. You know, I don't really be, you know, I don't really play five on five as much as I used to. You know, I try to spend a lot more time, you know, thinking about longevity, you know, so I do a lot of Pilates, do a lot of core work, uh, do a lot of yoga. So, you know, that's the, that's the main thing I've changed in my game. And my eating diet, I went plant-based uh, two years ago. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I've been playing yeah, baseball how, for almost two years now. Okay, so how how do you how do how do you feel that it's affect like your strength and did you have to adjust your playing style? Uh, it was a struggle at first, uh, because I'm so mm. used to getting so much protein from meats, you know, and it, it was it's, it, it was yep. it was a struggle for me, and you know, just going on not really feeling the energy. But as you get used to it, as you um, get away from the, you know, meat, meat, uh, eating, you know, meat and everything, you know, it, it, it kind of becomes easy mm -hmm. for me. Um, you know, yeah. because of, when I'm overseas anyway, uh, we eat kind of healthy. I mean, if you go to the cafeterias and, you know, the Europeans, they can eat kind of healthy fruits and uh, yeah. vegetables yeah. every day. So, and cheeses. So, I um, mean, it's, it's, it's really come natural. If you think about it, while we're in Europe, we're kind of basically setting ourselves up for that kind of lifestyle because they eat that way anyway. Right, you know, so right, right, right. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't that hard. The only thing about it is just getting used to not eating meat. But as far as my energy level, man, I feel mm -hmm. you know I, I I picked up my energy level ten times more, you know. But um, I feel great. Uh, that that was probably the best thing that ever happened to my career. You know, I'm still slim as ever. You know, so yeah, yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. And uh, I definitely keep that going, man. And just checking back in on this game, we got. F is down a cool 25 points right now. Nobody, Ooh, I don't think whoa. anybody saw this coming outside of Greece. But, uh, <laughs> right. yeah, no, this is a, this is a heck of a game. Daryl yeah. Macon has 31 points right now so Ooh. far in this game. Swiss culture he worthy, might, he might, He might, man, he, he, on. he might, uh, he, he might touch a 40 ball, <laughs> man. He might touch a 40 ball might, by, yeah. by the time it's over, man. All right, if you F is, is there a plan that you, you can execute to come back? I mean, there's no 25-point play. We know that. But 
Is it too late? I mean, we got a minute, a minute and some change left in this third quarter. I don't know what F has got to do to, to creep back in this one. Man, I don't know either. I ain't looking too good. Maybe they have to get ready, get chunk it up, and get ready for the next one. Yeah, man. I mean, it's tough. Maybe get man. some of the main uh, players yeah. back. Yeah, no, this is a tough one, man. And I, I think as Papianis, uh, Papianis goes out the game, man. I, he's played extremely well to me, man. Defensively on pick and rolls. I mean, he moves so well to be so big. You know, he can move yeah. the feet, man. And he gonna recover. Yeah, he, he gonna recover and block get shots out there on as he's yeah, man. Getting out there on one the of edges. The, one of the benefits of being, being 24 years old. Screens. <laughs> right, right. You got all the energy in the world. Yeah. One of the benefits <laughs> of being 24. So so, so they say you wrote a, a basketball book. Uh, no, I have a children's that. book. Well, well I have I got a children's, children's book. book. About, yeah, I have a children's book about uh, my journey. It's called Sonny's Did. Uh, just basically giving me, okay. uh, giving kids my journey of, uh, I basically wrote it for the kids in my community, which is West Memphis, West Memphis, Arkansas, uh, has a population mm-hmm. of no more than maybe 22,000 people. And I basically wrote okay. it for them, um, to just give them a pride, a sense of pride of where we're from, you know, uh, where we're from, where I'm from yeah. is what we call West Memphis, Arkansas, which is like, uh, six or seven miles from downtown Memphis. And what separates us apart mm-hmm. from Arkansas and Tennessee is the Mississippi river. And people always kind of get us confused as we're being in Memphis um, and we're not because we're named Mm -hmm. after Memphis. So we call it West Memphis, Arkansas. So people get us confused a lot, but we're in Arkansas. So I just try to get people that, especially kids back home where I'm from, you know, there's a lot going on with the poverty and, you know, the crime and and all that. So I mean, I just try to get them a, you know, just sense of uh, pride of, you know, just say where they're from, you know, I'm from West Memphis. Yeah, be prideful of, you know, saying where you're from and don't be, you know, don't be prideful of, of, of telling people your journey, you know, what you're going through in life. Yeah. And that's why I basically just put in the book, man, just giving kids that, that confidence to um, let people know that they exist in the world, you know, and that's what my whole book's about. It's called Sonny Did. No, nah, that's what's up, man. And I think, uh, yeah, I, I think you're, you're a good advocate for that, man. I mean, you've seen so much, you've seen the world and, uh, you know, that's, that's, yeah, that's appreciate you giving you. back, man. Have you uh have you been able to have you been able to like work with uh I mean I know you say you've been in the gym with uh Daryl Macon. Have you been able to get in the gym with some of these other young European basketball players? Young players Man, play not really. Man, not really because you know, as you as you know, during the season, uh, and I understand too as being, you know, a basketball player played overseas, man, during the season, man, you'd be so busy going to, you know, practices and tour days and playing mm-hmm. games. Man, when you get home, you don't pick up your phone. You don't want to be bothered yeah. by nobody. You know, and <laughs> I, and I understand that, man. So when I get home, man, I, I, you know, reaching out to guys, you know, I don't want to bother guys. But, uh, you know, uh, right. some of the guys, you know, mo- most of the older guys, uh, I kind of get in the gym with, you know, like I'm in the gym with them, you know, yeah. Marshawn a lot. You know, some of the older guys, but, uh, you know, but some of the young guys, you know, once they leave Europe, man, I know they trying to, you know, they trying to get out there on it. And, you know, but, you yeah. know, I'm, more than happy to get in the gym with some of those guys if you know if possible but you know i understand you know everyone's busy coming home for the summer yeah yeah everybody got their lives and then you know we only got like two yeah months everybody the got their stuff going so. on yeah yeah and i'm nice, working on huh? i'm working on my after you know after career movements so i got yeah, a lot of pieces that I transition got defense here, so. That, for sure, that tra- I call I call that that transition defense, man. Once you once man, you get out that career to man. the next phase, yeah, nah, for sure, man. It looks like we came to the yeah. end of the third quarter. You know, Ephesus is down twenty three points, and uh, everybody back home, please, if you have not already, subscribe to Euroleague TV, Euroleague TV, or you can go to Euroleague you, we have a promo code, watch along 10. That's watch along in the number 10. For those of you that live outside of Italy and Spain, you can get 10% off. And if you're looking into fun and games, please uh, sign up for the EuroLeague Fantasy Challenge. And you can find that at fantasychallenge.euroleague.net. You can trade players, build your own team, have a lot of fun. It's fun for everybody. So please go and check that out. Um, yeah, and I appreciate everybody back home sitting here with us. If y'all got questions, please drop them in the comments. We're going to try and get to uh, get to all the questions right now. 
Um, this is your one chance to uh, get the insight from a EuroLeague legend. And, uh, you know, he, he he's pretty open. You know what I mean? He don't bite. So True. go ahead and uh, leave all. your comments, man. Go ahead and leave your comments, man. 23-point game. Yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty much resting my starters right now. You know, I mean, you're already kind of yeah. harmed by injuries. You know, I wouldn't want nothing crazy. I'm not going to shoot the skin I'll probably chalk this one out. Man, they are. They really are. And, uh, yeah, man, they, they they put a heck of a performance on, man. It's, uh, yeah, they came it's a way to answer They came ready to play tonight. Yeah, after losing three straight, I don't I don't know if a lot of people assume Ephes would lose, especially this bad. Not at all. It's, uh, Not at all. Not a starters out the game, so. Yeah. Guess they calling in sure. now. What you think? Yeah, I would. For Yo, sure. so I asked the. Uh, all right, so I asked Casey Rivers a question uh, last, last week. I want to see what your answer would be. Out of all of your EuroLeague coaches with him, we talking like direct flight from 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 Moscow to to Arkansas. Which coach would you choose to chop it up with for the whole flight? If I had to choose a coach. You got to choose one of your EuroLeague coaches, man, that you just had to sit down and chop it up with on a long plane flight. Who would it be? Man, Ettorio Messina, hands down. The Godfather. Yeah. The <laughs> Italian Godfather. <laughs> okay. All day, man. All day, man. He's yeah. the first one that really sat me down and told me, man, slow down, bro. Like, slow down. Like, you're going way too fast. And ever since then, man, I've been – I ran with it. I mean, I've been, I've had a great career, man. But no, Ettorio Messina, man, anytime I can sit down and, you know, talk to him and uh, have him give me any kind of advice or knowledge, man, I'm willing to do it. Yeah. Okay. Nah, that's what's up, man. I think it's, I think it's always important, man, for a player to have like a, you know, you don't have to have the best relationship with your coach, but, you know, when you do have right. that, that good relationship with your coach, man, you get right. the most out of the player, and I, I think the uh, player gets the most out of the coach, man. Right. And I just think it's just us going over there. You know, we go over there at young ages and stuff, bro, you know, so yeah. um, our egos are already, like, you know, up here, and then yeah. we know the European coaches already have egos, so that clash is right there, you yeah. know, and, and that's, that's the only thing with us, man. We come over there at a young age, man, and we don't know how to navigate, you know, just being in Europe and, and dealing mm -hmm. with those coaches and dealing with the culture, you know, and nobody ever just really taught us that. Just think about it, bro. We get off the, they just sent us over there. We just get off the plane and they just they don't tell us anything. They yeah. just they just put us out there. You know what I'm saying? So right. I mean, of course you're gonna have problems for uh we have problems at home. Just think about inner city community kids, bro. Going to yeah. Europe with no kind yeah. of guidance. Of course, you're gonna bump heads yeah. with these grown European men that you don't know anything yeah. about. Right. You know what I mean? right so right. of course that we just gotta you know we gotta find a find some you know find a medium where you know we have to understand each other. We have to understand as Americans going over there because we're going to someone else's country, you know. So we have to understand how to move, how to maneuver throughout someone else's country, how to get them. You know what I mean? It's 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 not hard. I mean, it's it's just an adjustment period. It's just you know, like I said, getting out your comfort zone. A lot of players have to get out mm -hmm. their comfort zone. Yeah, no, it's tough, man. And I and I look at like some of the uh <clears throat> they're making for another three ball. My goodness. He Jesus, he's going crazy. Look how you look at man. the bench like that. Don't do it to him, he <laughs> mate. <laughs> man, nine for eleven. Don't do it to him God. like that. He going yeah, nuts. He, he, he might he might he might be uh he might be he might be going for that for that uh he might be going for, for that sure. forty ball. Seven minutes left. Coach probably gonna keep him in, especially after losing three games in a row. He's gonna keep him in. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. You, you gotta secure that win. You know, the Euroleague ain't no league safe. You got all nope. them shooters over Not there. At all. Not at all. Got all them shooters over there, but Yes. Sorry about the uh 
sorry about the foul language. I think we let a word slip, but you know, get back oh, to yeah. it. Sorry about it's that. Family show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's family show. Sorry about that. Nah. But uh, back to the game. Twenty four point lead, man. It don't, it don't look like Pana's gonna let this one off. But yeah, yeah, nah. I think. Uh, but going back to the conversation of just switching countries, man. I think. I think some of the European players probably experience the same things when they go to these small market teams in the U.S. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know, uh, you know right, right, Alex right. Abrines, when he came back, <laughs> from, you know, he was in OKC. It's like going from Barcelona to OKC. You know, that's, uh, that's tough. Yeah, too, that's a culture change. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's a it's a big culture change. It's a shot. You know, and I think that, uh, man, that's a shot. You know, it's, it's tough. It's tough for a lot of people, man. Yeah. Uh, for a lot of people, see we got Shane in here. See if he gonna turn up a little bit. Yeah, man, it's a uh, it's tough for Athens, man. They're so short-handed right now. Yeah, it's tough for him today. You know, Dunstan a lot of key down pieces. on the defensive end, Michich, you know, and all that he brings. It's a uh, Definitely, definitely, uh, uh, they're a bit team for sure. They'll bounce back the next game. Got a lot of vets over there, vet coach, vet guards, vet big men. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. They're, they'll bounce back, man. I like their team when they're at full strength. I really like their team. It's good defense, Roddy. I'm not moving that ball, man. Good pass. Oh, Extra pass, yeah. Ah, it's a little too much. Yeah, yeah. Demetrius, baby. The legend. The legend. The legend himself. Kill Bill. A little foul there. Back to the free throw line. T Wolf. Man, let's check. Let's check these other scores around the league. Moscow and came back. They up three on Asbel. Cheska Moscow is up three on Asbel late in the fourth quarter. Got about six minutes left over there on that game. Boy, D Hackett got sixteen. Oh yeah. Yeah. Real vet right there. Yeah, nah. It took nah, me a minute hacking, to find out he was European. Yo, I played against him in college. I ain't know he was. I ain't know he was Italian. Somebody <laughs> told me like, oh, he, yeah. he Italian. He got all like, oh, he got a passport. They like, no, bro. He's like, he's yeah. Italian. I'm like, it what? took, bro. It took me like, I think I was like my fourth year in Europe, bro, to know that he was European. I did not know because you know really? you on court. It's the heat of the moment. You don't really talk. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? In the heat of the moment, right, so you right, don't really exactly, have conversations exactly. like that. So it took me a minute to to know that he was. I was like, man, I'm like you really not from where we from? You know, so because because we'll we'll have we'll be we'll go on the roads and stuff. You know, and he'll be out. You know how we kick it in America's we link up or whatever. You know, and he'll yeah, kind of yeah. be off to the side with the you know with the European players. But I always thought well, it's kind of weird, but you know I didn't think none of it. And find yeah. out, you know, he's actually was born over here. So it, you know, yeah. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's funny, man, because I was at Stanford yeah. and he was at USC, man. And I, I played against him like, I played against him like four years. I did not know he was European until I got over here. I was playing in Italy and he was with uh, Siena, I think, at the time. And I was like, oh, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, he Italian? <laughs> Man, like, man, man. That's wild. Took, like I said, it took me a minute. So. D hack it. Yeah. What you think Milan gonna do this year? Man, I like I like Milan's team, man. I like Melly over there, man. I think I think they made some, you know, I thought I thought Milan was gonna have some problems with uh, you know, just losing Puncher and uh Zach Liday, but uh you know, I yeah. like the additions that they made. And again, like, you know, they got vets. They got Delaney over there, man. I think yeah. uh, I think they're going to have to be here. I, I don't really be. I don't see them going, but I think. Uh, yeah. He has to stay here. I, the Delaney think, stay here. They'll be cool. 
Yeah, no, nah, I think Delaney's out until like early November. But um, yeah, no, nah, he's oh, he's yeah. super tough, obviously. So yeah. um <clears throat> yeah, no, nah, I think Milan got a good team though for sure. Yeah, they Macon. got a good team. Like I said, they got Messina over there, D Macon. Yeah. They got a good team over there. They got their big coach. Like they got the Godfather over there, so mm-hmm. they put them in some situation. Tough shot, Elijah. Tough shot. And they say there's an Instagram video of you running across a pitch in socks. Football. Oh, yeah, I was on the football field. I was football training. field. <laughs> football field. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was training. Yeah. So that's my, okay. my morning cardio every morning. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, 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 man. I, what uh, you doing? You doing do sprints or what you be doing? Yeah, I do 30, okay, 30 hundreds every morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Get to yeah, it, man. Nah, man. It's a, ain't nothing wrong with that. I think, like, since I stopped hooping, man, one of the main things is just trying to stay in shape, man. I try to run every morning. I try to run like two miles, you know what I'm saying? Try to run two uh, miles. Man, you got to, to. You know, yeah, I just try to work out the muscles you can see, though, now. You know what I mean? Like curls, chest, yeah. abs, nothing else. Yeah. No hamstrings, no back. Man, you don't want to get that post-retirement that. stomach. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I mean, I'll be on that, but I, I got to make it look like I still yeah. play. But it's important man, to run, though. So why, why were you running in socks? Why are you running socks? Man, because yeah. the turf... Uh, I don't some I don't know the turf. I just don't feel faster with, when I got sock when I got shoes on. That's all. Yeah, it don't. It's not no big deal to it. I just, you know, no big deal. No big I deal know. to it. Yeah. Nah, but <laughs> I remember back in the day, you ever used to race the homie, even like you mess around and, and beat him, and then he'd be like, "All right, hold on, let's run this one with no shoes on." Got to throw them he, shoes, he take off. His shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> he, he throw them shoes off. He throw them shoes off. He ain't gonna beat you now. <laughs> For some reason, you think you're faster with them shoes off. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that used to be funny. Damn, man, down 22, days, man. This one. Down 22. This one about over. Man, Chris Singleton is heading towards the longest consecutive games played. Today is his 208th appearance. Oh yeah, that's crazy. It's a milestone right there, baby. Games. Yeah, that's a lot. It's longevity right there. That's bet. That's longevity, especially going to Europe with them tour days included. Man, man, I mean, that's that's quite an accomplishment, man. That is that's an quite amazing an accomplishment. accomplishment. Yeah, man, and uh. Yeah, this game is about over. 89-65 in the fourth quarter. Let's go check out what's going on in, in France with Asbel and Moscow. It looks like we got a – oh, we got a tight game, 62-64. We got Cheska Moscow up on Asbel at the five-minute mark, five minutes left in that fourth quarter. Five minutes left in that first quarter over there in Moscow. So which ones which one was your favorite arena in Euroleague to shoot in? Oh uh Panther Ninth was for sure. I told you I had some of yeah. my best games in that arena. Yeah. Some of my yeah. best games in that arena. I used to go crazy in the Panther Ninth. It was just something about Greece, man. It just Flying into that yeah. country, the history, the islands, and the gym, the fans—it's just something about that that whole country, man. I just, I just love being in it. And uh, once, once I get on that court, it's a wrap. <laughs> I just, just love—I oh, love playing you. in Greece. I just, I love playing in Greece. Man, it's just so much history. I'm into all that Greek mythology and all that anyway. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it's just—I just feel comfortable just being in that country. And what did did you have a particular team you used to love playing against the most? Oh uh, man, 
Used to love only the major teams, really, man. The the, the uh, I love going to Fenerbahce. I love playing it. I love playing in those fans. Just though that energy that that was a great gym to play in. Um, man, who else? Uh, Basconia, like I said, Victoria. Mm-hmm. That's a really good place to play. Olympiacos for sure. You can't forget about Olympiacos. I mean, just so many places, man. I played with. And it's just the whole European yeah. thing, the whole European atmosphere. It's just, man, it's just all over. Especially I was coming in during those early days, like, you know, when they were yeah. really in them in them arenas, the fans and everything, you know. And, man, I just came in during those days. So I got to experience that real fan love, that real back right. and forth, that real rivalry, you know. So, man, I got yeah. to experience that. Oh, can't forget about Belgrade now. Serbia, mm-hmm. can't forget about Park. Oh, yeah. Now. Uh-huh. Can't forget about party. You know, I just Red got so Star. many memories. That's you. Yeah, Red Star. Yeah, I, yeah. It's just so many memories, man. Just Europe, man. I just can't pinpoint just one gym that I love to play at. Right, right. Yeah. yeah so nah, there's so a, many memories. Nah, that's a, yeah. There's some dope atmospheres out there, and uh, even even looking yeah. ahead tomorrow, you know, we got a uh, tomorrow we got Tyrese Rice coming on the watch alone, man, for the Maccabi versus Barcelona game. Obviously, you're. You a Maccabi vet? Uh, who you? Who you think? Right. You got any predictions for us for that game, Maccabi and Barcelona? Man, I got Barcelona, like you said. Like you had Barcelona pick the. I just think mm-hmm. they're really good this year. They're really tuned. Man, they're a vet team. They have a vet coach. Um, the one last year kind of slipped away from. I just think that just this is the like you said. It's that revenge here, man. I I just got Barcelona just winning everything pretty much. Yeah. Games. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. everything. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I think yeah. you know Maccabi has a Maccabi got some new uh, got some new faces over there. Derek Williams slid over. He's been playing well. James yeah. Nutley's been playing well as well. So yeah, I'm excited to see uh, yeah. how Maccabi performs. They got some players, man. It'll be a nice test for them. For sure, for sure. See where they at for sure for the season. Yeah, it'll be a nice. It'll be a nice test for them. You know, and I think, yeah. you know, how how was how was your experiences? So, like, losing in the Final Four, coming so close to a championship, what do you remember about your mindset heading into that next season? You man, know, just being like disappointed, Barcelona. you know. Man, just being disappointed, man. I was ready to go. Uh, man, I went back to the went back to the, uh, to the gym that summer, man. Just got busy. Uh, that was the main thing. Mm-hmm. Just try to win it next year. Uh, but fortunately, you know, we came up short all three times, but Man, every year that was the goal to win it. You know, every time that we came up short, we came back the next year. Same thing, same thing. Yeah. Want to win it? You know, that was all my ways, my mindset. Every, with losing anything, you know, um, I'm always yeah. you know yeah. down for the challenge of doing it again. You know, I've always pitched that that to myself, and I've always kept that attitude. Right, right. Yeah, nah, man. It's a uh, that's important, man. I mean, I think like. You know, just coming so close and just losing like that, man, uh, you know, it sits with you. You know what I mean? And you see a lot of the yeah. same faces. Like, F has got pretty much the same team that they had last year, and Barcelona has a similar team to last year. So, um, you know, you definitely want to get get what you thought was yours or what was almost yours. You know what I mean? For sure. For but, sure. For sure. Yeah, I think Barcelona with that added motivation, man, I think that can, uh, that can definitely help. Yeah. That can definitely help. And we down to a little less, a little under two minutes, minute and a half left. You know, at this point, man, you just want everybody to get out healthy, man. You always want people to get out healthy, man, but especially in a yeah, blowout always. game like this, you know, just keep it safe, keep it simple. You know, let's just get home and uh, get, home, get on out of here. Watch film, get ready for the next one. Yeah, man. Yo, do you do you ever remember like a like a bad loss in Euroleague and then like a crazy practice over or like a practice in the middle of the night? Coach every while on any of your coaches every while out like that. Man, we lost to uh, uh, Minx Tone Minx one game by like one point at the buzzer. Mm-hmm. And man, we had like a four hour practice. I think it was uh, it's when Messina was there. There's no way we're supposed okay. to be losing to Tom Meeks. Not Cheska Mosca. I'm not doing that time. And, man, yeah. I, I tell you, you know, I'm a pretty in shape guy. I'm one of those guys that we run sprints, we start practice, we run sprints again. I'm still one of those guys. I'm the first in line. I'm running. 
Man, but that day, yeah, nah, I couldn't make it that day. Nah, <laughs> I mean, it was mixed. I mean, you imagine the team full yeah. of the, the monster squad that we had. Oh, man, it was man, my yeah. was mad. And man, we had like a four hour practice. I'm talking about all defensive drills, all the drills that hate yeah. you, that make you want to hate practice, transition drills, defensive drills, all that. You're right, all that. right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now nah, that's, that's tough. So what you think? Again. I bet not. So what you think hurt more? <laughs> like a blowout loss or like that close, that one that one point jump? Man, because the close one. Because in a close game against me, that means you really playing around. If it's close and you yeah. end up maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you really, a team that you're supposed to beat by 40 or 50 and you end up losing by mm-hmm. one point that you playing around. And your coach know it. Yeah. yeah. He already know you got to be yeah. players. They got the mind on something else. We playing minx. Don't mm-hmm. nobody want to play. Don't nobody want to do nothing. So he already know what's going on. You know? Yeah. So he know what's he, he know. We, and we lose by so fourth quarter, we trying to come back and win. But we so out of the game. And they playing so good. It's kind of balance, It's kind of hard to balance that. You know how Yeah, it is. momentum. And they come out. Momentum. <laughs> yeah, the momentum. They come out. They beat us. And definitely, bro, I, I guarantee that for our practice. It wasn't two games. Wasn't we could have played two games? How much we practiced that day? <laughs> man, it was crazy. Man, that's tough. Cause the coach, no, he knew we was playing yeah. around. No way. You got Karolinko and Sonny Wings and Taylor Dosage and Nando and Sasha Khan and yeah. Aaron Jackson coming off the bench and Kyle Hines and like, no, nah, y'all don't supposed to yeah. lose mix, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like it always happens, though. Sometimes you just overlook some teams. And then when you're the big dog, you know, everybody else gunning for you. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's right, a right, chance to sure. make their name. They come so, ready to play. Yeah, and, it's, you know, it's uh, it's tough, man. And, you know, fortunately, we got a, we got a blowout on this game. Um, Ephes look like they, they, they do for one of those practices. Um, not to lose them like this. And, man, uh, yeah, man. The good thing think, about going back to Istanbul during the day is, man, you got to run into the traffic. You know, a lot of coaches don't want to run into that Turkish traffic. <laughs> traffic. So they might get away with yeah. one practice, you know. <laughs> right, right. They ain't traffic long enough. They might get away with one yeah, practice. Yeah, that traffic a little crazy in <laughs> Istanbul, man. Nah, uh, man, but, you know, that's the, that's the end of that game. Uh, Daryl Macon, definitely the MVP in my eyes. I mean, but he had 34 Definitely. points, a uh, heck of a game, man. I think he had nine threes. Um, but, man, Sonny, I appreciate you pulling up, man. Appreciate your time. You know, it's always a pleasure to have your league legend on here, man. And, you know, if anything, I'm glad that this is the platform to, to keep the legend alive, man. So I appreciate you stopping by and interacting with us and the fans, man. For sure, man. All good, man. Thanks for having me, man. Like I said, man, salute to do, do to you doing what you're doing, man. Bringing that light onto the player, something that's never been done before. Highlights and everything, man. But so salute to you, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. If anything if I can do, you know, to help you going forward, man. I'm here, bro. I don't have no egos. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. So, man, take for sure. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. And everybody back home, please. Like and subscribe. You can catch this on demand on YouTube a little later. Um, everybody, please go sign up for EuroLeague TV at EuroLeague.net. Tomorrow we will be back. It is a double week. It is a back-to-back. We will be back with a watch-along tomorrow for the barcelona Maccabi game with Tyrese Rice, another EuroLeague killer. Um, man, it's going to be – it's a great week for basketball. So please tune in with us tomorrow, and we're out. Appreciate it. Everybody stay yes, safe. Yes, sir. Thank you. Three times, baby.